While Tapo doesn't have a dedicated app to view our Tapo cameras on our Windows desktop, but there is a software, a third-party software that we can use to view our Tapo cameras live. Una sa lahat, mag-subscribe muna kayo sa aking channel para suportahan ito. You may also join this channel as a member to avail of exclusive perks like priority in comments reply and early access or exclusive access to some videos for members only. You can also help fund some projects here by sharing super tanks. This is the iSpy software that I uh, installed on my desktop and you can see here my Tapo cameras here. On the other side is the Xiaomi, Xiaomi camera viewer. And I'm trying to install the iSpy software for uh, Tapo cameras because it has a the iSpy software can uh, stream Tapo cameras. So I'm going to try it now. So you can see on the browser, I search for, I'm searching for um, iSpy software. So you can open this. Uh, Link here. There's a download uh, link here. You can read here that um, you can uh, connect uh, Tapo via the OnViv uh, protocol because uh, Tapo cameras also support uh, OnViv and also RTSP. Let's try download. Okay, so you choose Agent DVR Windows because it's uh, the recommended for new installs. Let's try. I can save it here on downloads. Then I will unzip the folder. So there's the downloaded folder. I'm going to extract the files here also. Then uh, I'll try to install it. Install XC. Uh, click yes. Allow. Okay. It's downloading process. Allow access. Next. Okay. Let's see. What will happen? English, siempre. Okay. Configure view, layout, grid. Okay, this is the look. If I'll uh, use this top, that's the one. If I'll choose Column plus grid. Okay, that's better. So now you can see my front yard camera streaming on iSpy software on the browser. On the other hand, on the left side is my Xiaomi camera viewer, which is an app on uh, Windows. I have already uh, uh, made a tutorial video about it, so check my video about it. Now, uh, what you're going to do now is uh, add cameras. So, all we have to do is click any uh, slot here available, let's say here, then you click add, then you click new device, then click on VIF, I'm using on VIF, then uh, there are options here, you can uh, Turn on alerts. Alerts are triggered by detections. So if there are detections by your camera, then it will be uh, relayed to the IS, iSpy software here if you open it on your desktop. So I'll just leave it uh, off for the meantime. Then uh, there are also other uh, options here, record on detect. So there's it can record when motion is detected and you can also reduce or resize the resolution of your video so that's it and there's also record row click ok then there's the name of the camera here uh, I'll uh, make another camera I'll name it as front door 
Then I'll click Enable. Source type is uh, on div. You click here, there's a three dots here you, under source type. You, you already choose on beef. Now you, all you have to do is configure this one. So you click these three dots here. Then you type your account name. I'm referring to the account of your camera. Be sure that your camera has already been uh, configured. You can you already create an account on your camera. You need to set up also the uh, top up so that you can uh, stream the camera to iSpy software. For example, I use my front yard camera here. Go to settings at the upper right corner. Then scroll down, go to advanced settings. You can see here a camera account. You uh, open that, tap that, then account information. So I made my account. I put my uh, username and my, and my password here. So just uh, tap uh, any password you want. Then after that, you verify. So that's it. So that's how to create an account. So you actually need um, to create an account for each of your camera. So I already did with my front yard camera. So I'll do it for my front door camera. Again, go to settings, then scroll down, go to advanced settings, camera account account information and type again the uh, account number or account name okay you can verify I can change my name here so that it will be uniform okay then I'm going to save I'm going to save it so that's it that's for my uh, front door camera. Then I'll have to also to uh, configure or create a, an account for my terrace camera. Again, go to settings. You go to advanced settings. Um, camera account. Okay. Uh, you have to agree for if it's your first time creating an account for your camera. You have to agree on the terms and conditions uh, set by TAPO. Then you make your uh, account name. So I do make the same account, the same uh, uh, passwords for all my cameras. And you can also make it uh, uh, unique for each camera. It's up to you. I'm just doing this for demonstration. So again, be sure that all your cameras have already its uh, account so for its camera it should have an account so you type your password here then the service URL you have selections here so that you won't have any problem so I'm uh, setting up my front door camera my front door camera is c225 so i click c225 and it automatically sets the service url here then uh, you click get video urls okay option found live url then uh, you can turn on here use snapshot for url for, for photos uh, you can turn this on anyway or you can also turn that off depending on you it's it depends upon you then you click ok so my name is front door on with that's already uh, set a uh, location is for your uh, geographical location you can turn that on or uh, you can set that or just leave it blank but if you want to uh, make a schedule for your cameras, you need to uh, put the location, okay? So in the meantime, I'm not going to put that. Then uh, you can assign color for your camera. I can, I think I can put here uh, blue or this one. Okay, purple or blue. Then I tap okay, then okay. I'll set for my other camera, for example, new device on the. I'll add my camera on my terrace. So 
I said, okay here. Then uh, I'll name this as Terrace Camera or Terrace for short. On beef, then configure it again. You type your uh, account. The same process. Then for service, again for service URL, my uh, terrace camera is tapos C210. Then get with your URLs. And uh, you may or may not set the your uh, advanced settings. This is for uh, the RTSP uh, port. Uh, you're, not, you're not using the RTSP but the on beef. Just click OK. So you already have three cameras, then you set the color as purple, click OK. You can actually um, edit the view here by going to this uh, command here, this edit view. There's a pencil sign here, you click that. Now, your main display is your display here, that's main display. I choose here my uh, front yard, that's why you can see here there's only one, that's front yard, okay. Now, if you want to change this one, you can just, uh, uh, what is included here is front door only. All you have to do is you click this one, then what is included are three cameras, let's say OK. Then, I uh, can see here three devices already. So, if you've observed this one, this is my front door camera, it will change by rotating my three cameras, my three tapo cameras, that's my terrace. And before that was my uh, front yard camera, this one. And this is the front door camera. Then this is the front yard camera. So that's if you want to uh, make a uh, rotating uh, scenes, okay? But if you want to uh, just maintain this into uh, one, I already have my uh, front yard. I have, this is my terrace camera. If I want this to remain as my uh, front door camera, all I have to do is again, uh, go to edit. Then you click this uh, slot here, the interval slot. Then uh, you drag the cameras that you don't want to appear on the slot. So I don't want the front yard. I don't want the terrace because the terrace is already here and the front yard is this one. Then I will click OK. So then you can see here only one device remaining. Then OK. And so I have views of the three cameras here. See that? So that's easy. Uh, or you can hide the uh, commands or the menu by clicking this one arrow. And you can see all here, it's clean. <laughs> it's only the covers that you can see, okay? Alerts, your account menu, your help, and full screen. Okay, so that's full screen. You can record the uh, videos here by clicking the start recording. And also there's a snapshot. You can take photos, okay? You see here, photo save and start recording then all the cameras are recording you see here stop recording you can create shortcut for your for this page so that uh, the next time you open your desktop you can just go here the name the default name is agent local you can just name it Tapo come viewer see then you just open as window and you create okay there's also instructions here would you like to pin tapo come viewer to your taskbar I can say yes to make it easy for you uh, this is the Xiaomi camera viewer Okay, then my uh, Tapo Viewer camera here, 
Okay, so that's it. Very nice. Yeah.